Hi. Still in the home office. Still haven't shaved. I did put a hat on for my man Bryce. I thought it might be useful this week to go through some tips and tricks, things that have helped me navigate the virtual online meeting world. So most of our lives are dominated these days with Zoom, go to meeting, WebEx. So I wanted to review some things that might help you navigate that world a little more easily. Here I am in front of my computer. So your virtual meeting is going to get kicked off with something like this. It's going to be an invitation, probably not going to have the subject line of feet, but it will have a couple important links. First link right here, this is if you're going to access via a computer or a smartphone. This gives you audio plus video. And then there'll be some call-in numbers down below. That's if you just want to call in audio only, no video. So conference calls like many of us have been doing for many years. So we're going to consider this top one, this link with a smartphone or computer, and see what that leads to. Once you click on that link, you will be in a virtual meeting space. The first thing you'll be asked to do is to test your speaker and microphone. Speaker seem to be working pretty good. And how about the mic? And how about the mic? Oh yeah, we have sound. And that's an important one because how many times have you heard, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Well, if you set it up and you could hear it in the test, then the answer is yes. We can not only hear you, but also hear all the things that are going on in your specific world. The clanging dishes, the barking dog, the running lawnmowers. Nothing can bring a virtual meeting to a screeching halt faster than background noise. So the way to avoid that is right there, that little X button. Unmute, yes, we can hear you. Mute, sometimes peaceful silence. So if you learn nothing else from this training, it's that mute button. Please use it. Working across the bar, menu bar, video. So I don't have a camera hooked up to this current rig, but if I did and I unclick that, you'd be able to see my smiling face. Not many of us like seeing ourselves on video, but trust me, in this environment, it's a welcome addition. It really helps build engagement and interaction. So please consider using video on these virtual meetings. Next one over that I want to show you as participants, click on that. You can very quickly see not only who is on the call, but also whose mic is muted and whose isn't. So this can be a very quick way to figure out who the uh, perpetrator really is. The last thing I wanted to show you is chat. So I'm going to go over here to more, hit the chat box, and that will open up uh, your ability to communicate. So sometimes you're in an environment that is noisy and you can't help it. You still want your voice to be heard. So the chat box can be a nice way to get your thoughts across without having to actually speak. And that's about it, gang. Four major concepts that we're talking about here. Mute, unmute, start video, participants, and chat. I want to leave you with one last idea. If you are hosting a meeting or participating in a meeting and you're not real sure of how this works, practice. Pretty easy to set up a practice session, send a link to a spouse or one of your kids or a coworker, and run through it. Figure out how these things in your particular virtual meeting environment, be it Zoom or GoToMeeting or WebEx, figure out how they work. There's not going to be many of them. They're all pretty much the same. But having just that little bit of practice can sometimes overcome any initial anxiety you may have. So now you have seen what I see at PVC. Big weekend for many of us, Easter weekend, Passover holiday. Hopefully everyone has an enjoyable one and a profitable week ahead. Thanks.